this is the end zone let's move the chains so we're going to talk about the xfl and kind of what's been going on lately so recently the xfl was purchased and now we know that these new owners are really hard at work so first i want to cover that there's not really much news coming out because the work that's being done is mostly financial it's mostly legal it's stuff that really isn't going to be out there for the public for a while i mean a lot of the uh, legal stuff is actually out there i'm gonna have a guest on the show coming up this week or pretty soon we're still trying to work out when we can meet uh, josh from pigskinnut.com he's been really really covering all the legal side of the things what's been being released and uh, stuff like that so he's going to come on and explain to you what all is going on i'm excited for that so stay tuned but you have to realize that, you know, this is a new company being acquired by new owners. There's a lot to do behind the scenes, a lot of organizational stuff they have to do to build the XFL back to where it was. You know, slow and steady wins the race here. You don't want to do a bad job just because you want to get up in 2021 or earlier. You, know, you want to do this right. And I, I think that uh, Jerry Cardindale with Redbird Capital Partners, Garcia, and Dwayne The Rock Johnson are going to do the best job they can do. Now, here's a picture of Danny Garcia's Instagram. She posted that they've had over 40 meetings already on Zoom. So that's further proof that they're getting a lot of work done just behind the scenes. And according to Mike Mitchell on Twitter, these are the actual people in the Zoom meeting. Also, Dwayne The Rock Johnson He had COVID a while back, so that could have slowed some things down. You know, we don't know how sick he was. Uh, I assume he was all right. He was in pretty good shape or was is in pretty good shape, but his whole family got it. So with that being said, you know, I'm really excited for the XFL, see what they're going to do. But that's kind of basically what's been going on. There hasn't been much to talk about other than speculative stuff. Um, Comment down below if you want to see some future xfl videos or what you want to see thanks for watching the end zone make sure to like subscribe and comment so we can move the chains